And we're back to the Thousand Year Campaign with the Empire of Portugal. We still haven't moved a single day <laughs> because there was a lot of preparation we needed to attend to and still do. So, where do we have soldiers is our next task. We have tiny armies spread all over the place. That's not a good plan. We need big armies not spread all over the place. But not so big that they're over the supply limit, so... You are completely over the supply limit. So, half of you... ...should move to Valencia. And in fact, our... ...fleet... ...the Royal Armada... ...should also move to Valencia. If we need to move an army, uh, we'll... We have 19 ships, that's 19,000. How perfect is that? We can uh, sail them across uh, the Mediterranean to wherever they're needed. And we'll keep a reserve in our capital, of course. So, what else should we uh, focus on? Ah yes, we needed a flagship. I was wondering where we had any buildings, if anywhere at all. Uh, no, we don't have any uh, specific buildings for ship production, so... Can we build a flagship? Yes, we can. 730 days. Well, but that's what we need. What bonuses should we have? Let's see. Improved Crow's Nest uh, would indeed be uh, quite the improvement for the fleet. More width, so... Yeah, that's pretty good. What else? I mean, uh, Fleet Morale, uh, Command Afro Castle is also neat. Let's try to focus on bonuses that improve the whole fleet and not just the flagship. Fleet Blockade in Plactum Siege. That would be good. The standardized signal book, movement speed. Fleet exploration range plus a hundred, huh. Uh, I don't think we'll need that. Fleet barrage cost, minus 40%. Ah, that'll kind of replace the uh, focus we could have had on marines. Trade power per ship. That is, if that were a trade flagship, not really. Ah, Portuguese Fusiliers, movement speed on and off ships. So, fast action acting, oh, that's good. That's pretty good. Flag officers, monthly chance of admiral skill gain. Hmm. Fleet privateering, we don't want that. Police tradition from battles, now that could be important. Hmm. Movement speed is pretty good as well to catch enemies. But I think we're going to go for that. For Portuguese Fusiliers. Because we want to have a fast action uh, fleet and uh, soldiers. And we do want to keep a record of our glorious naval engagements for history to admire. Let's build that baby. Uh, let's change the name, that's not a good one. Serpente. Ah, temível portuguesa. Espatarte. Hmm, some interesting names. I think I'm going for the, uh, the name that we went through. Yes. The, uh... Huh. Awe-inspiring or the, uh... Fear-inspiring Portuguese? Roughly translated. Okay, how many other ships do we need to reach the, uh, limit? Another ten. 
that's a lot. Uh, okay, what kind of ships could we use right now? Uh, we don't have the most powerful navy outright, right? No, we don't. Uh, 19 transport seems like it's enough. So, I think we could do with an extra 10 heavy ships and be completely dominant anywhere we go, including, I guess, the English. Seems like a decent enough idea. Yeah. So, uh, naval units. Carracks. Navy templates. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, Carracks. Quite expensive. So, we need 10. And that's all our money gone. <laughs> and that's all our money gone. We'd also like to have a fort up there. Where do we have... Oh yeah, uh, here we go. The protection uh, over territories. Yeah, there's a fort there. We should we need a fort here. Unless uh, these guys have one. Doesn't seem like it. So yeah, we'd like to have a fort there. Should we build one? Thinking we should. Having open borders is not a good thing. need all these forts at eventually but as uh, as long as Genoa is a problem I think we'll keep them okay so that's naval issues taken care of now for troops um, disputed succession can we uh, get in on any of this not really don't have a uh, relations, royal relations with any of these places. Okay, um, so that's that. Uh, they have 14,000 here. How far off are we? The 13 away. Okay, so we could get more troops in Italy here. We could also need more troops out east. We don't have any. Yeah, but Genoa first. I'm uh, not feeling too comfortable with these guys uh, wanting so liberty so bad. So, uh, your infantry, we could use extra troops. Hmm, mercenaries available. Extra troops, so. And a few knights. And that would be at the limit. Okay. So then we'll have armies to respond if we need in the peninsula and by ship anywhere in the Mediterranean, but also in Italy straight away. And once we have the papal state on our side, uh, they could help out. East, however, we have a uh, weak position, let's say. Exposed and weak. 
exposed and weak. They're not the main source of income anyway, but... Uh, good to have, it's good to have. I mean, Aleppo and Constantinople are important centers of trade. So, the most important action of the entire game, you know, um, moving time forward is something we should uh, be doing at some point. Hmm, wondering how the Genoans will be able, or the Genovese, actually, Genovese, will be able to hold this territory. Probably won't be able to. So! Gold found in Tafilat. Our explorers have traveled deep into uncharted territories to search for gold in foreign lands. Finally, we've done it. Wow. Okay. Plus 50 gold in... For a century. Wow, uh, that's a lot. Where's Tlaf Tafilat? We are now rivaled with Egypt and England, right? Gem cutting masses in Barcelona have made a breakthrough. Okay, that's good. As the new stones and new technique for making them spread across courts and workshops, the demand for jewelry, diamonds, and precious stones is increasing. Okay, so if we have these, it'll be good. So Tafilat. Oh, here we go. Well, we have gold. How much of our income is that? Almost nothing. La Mancha and Tafilat. Very small, very small territories, apparently. Oh, it's because of all the autonomy, right? They're not a state. And La Mancha. La Mancha is somewhere around right here, right? There we go. Okay, this is going to start going down. Yes. Okay, so I should start getting more revenue from that. Ah, alliance offers. Let's see. From Serbia. No, we don't want to be allies with Serbia. Akaya. Certainly not. And Hijaz. Hijaz? Where's Hijaz? Where is it, Hajaz? Bulgaria? What? <laughs> I like looking for things myself, but I cannot find Hajaz for the life of me. Where the hell are you? Oh, this big... Oh, uh... Well, you're a bit too far away to be of any use. Bad, too far to be of any use. So diplomats are coming back. Oh, royal manor driver from Ireland. Yes. I don't know if we're too far away to have them uh, vassalized, but that'll change in time, I'm quite sure. Follow Vijayanagar, okay. England has answered a treaty of support for independence. Oh, they, they're meddling in our internal affairs, the damn sneaky bastards. I have two unassigned merchants. Oh, did we not assign them? I thought we did. Collect from trade in Genoa. And collect from trade in uh, Constantinople. So, we have two free diplomats. Um...
we want to improve relations with these guys. Because they'll make good vassals, I'd say. Once they uh, integrated their own subjects. And certainly good against the English to distract them in Brittany. So... Yeah, I think this is going to be our fourth relation. Does it sound like a good plan, folks? I think it does. So, papal allies, Genovese vassals, future vassals, future vassals. Looking at uh, curbing English power since they hate us so much. Historical friends. Alternate history enemies, it seems. English and the Portuguese. Uh, yeah, I think we should get on that then. Let's uh, ally... No, oh, we cannot send anyone else till uh, quite a while. Let's offer an alliance to the Gascony then. They'll also be able to help us against the Knights Templar. Which are our sworn enemies. So yeah, we have two allies that'll help us against the English if they decide to meddle with Genoa. Take that, dirty English folk. We have two unassigned merchants. I just assigned them. Or have they not gone to... Uh... Why have we not... Oh, I'm too stupid. I forgot to actually select the merchant. Damn it. It's been a while since I've played this. So, one spare diplomat. Um, what can we do with it? With this guy? Um, I like to rival. Your rivals with Gascony? <laughs> oh boy. Uh, don't fight amongst yourselves, okay? Uh, what else could we do with this fella? Um, should try to stay on Jerusalem's good side. So they don't join a war on us with Egypt. That sounds like a decent enough idea. Anatolia... Oh, they were also a member of our uh, dynasty. Mm-hmm. Culture Portuguese. In fact... Uh... Well, they are Anatolian, not Portuguese over there, but okay. Yeah, a lot of Portuguese around here. Algerian, Berber... And German. Oh yeah, from the uh, Holy Roman Empire times. We'll have to change that at some point. Some Italians in uh, Libya. That's historically accurate if uh, a few centuries ahead of time. And in Arabia, that's certainly not historically accurate. Uh, but I mean, the Crusades were so successful that that's to be expected. Germans in uh, Russia. Well, there were, historically there were German peoples and Slavic peoples in and out of um, these places, but not that prevalently, I don't think. Well, in any case, what can this guy do? Uh... Hmm. Yeah, maybe uh, smooth things over with this kingdom over here of Jerusalem. Make sure that they're 
too good a relation with us to uh, try to have sneaky ideas about capturing territory somewhere. Too few rivals. You need at, three, at least three. Oh, crap. Okay, let's select more rivals then. Who are we going to attack at any point? Besides uh, Egypt and England. Anatolia, well, they're a part of our dynasty. The Seljuks. They view us as our rivals. Well, the Seljuks... Too far east for our current interests. Kalyani Shalukas. Well, much too far east for our interests. And Feiting's even worse. Poland? I mean, they're smack in the middle of Europe, not even close to us. I guess it's gonna have to be Anatolia then. Well, they are part of our uh, dynasty, so we should... Take it back, I guess. Uh, hmm, actually. Yeah, we could do with claiming their throne. And they have quite a lot of territory. They are part of our dynasty, so that makes it easier. Hmm. I think we could do that. We could claim their throne. How many relations do we have? Three. So instead of having the Papal State, we would have Anatolia. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, can we change rivals? Damn it. Not until ah, 25 years from now. Hmm. Yeah, if at any point they have a weak heir, we're going to claim the hacker of their throne. Not totally is no longer a valid rival. Oh, great. That's good. We didn't want them as rivals. That's good. Uh, so, who else? Mongols, Seljuks. I mean, that's nobody we're gonna fight anytime soon. I don't think. So let's go for an easy target then. Uh, the Seljuks, maybe. They're close and spread out. Can convert someone? Yeah, but that's super expensive and takes a long time. 
Uh, let's do it anyway. How's our income? Uh, it's healthy. Fairly healthy. Trade income is up slightly from our doings, it appears. Royal marriage ah, from Gascogne. Uh, we do have a relation with them already, right? Yes, an alliance. So, yes, let's try to get them into our royal family then. We accept. Our legitimacy is down, but it's growing back, so not to worry. Just this initial hit from all the royal managers. Okay, so what can we send our diplomat off to do? Once you don't have subjects, you'll accept that. Once we're near you enough, I think you'll accept that. Maybe you offer an alliance to, uh, yeah, Anatolia then. Okay. Egypt is no longer a valid rival. Okay. Who is then? Only the big boys to the east? Uh, well, if we won't ha pick one if we don't have to. Because they're really outside our sphere of interest right now. Yes, we lost that uh, against Egypt. Not to worry. Ah, have our army ready. Can you not move? Oh no, you cannot. Achaia have insulted us. The Duke of Coimbra. King Afonso was only six years old when he became King of Portugal. For the first six years of the reign, the country had been ruled by the Duke of Coimbra. Not quite. Don Afonso has had no reason for complaint, and by most accounts, his regency has been just an efficient one. However, with the young king reaching majority, there are now many in court who try to influence their monarch. Jealous of the Duke's influence, a group of noblemen have been trying to sow the score between him and the king, trying to frame him as a would-be rebel. In a last attempt to mend relations, the Duke of Coimbra has arrived with a number of retainers to seek an audience with Don Afonso. Okay, so we either kill him and get some stability, or we trust our friend and get um, trade efficiency and tax modifier until the king dies. How old are we? 46. Uh, we could have a, a long kingdom still. A long stay in, uh, in power. Uh, yeah, we should boost stability, actually. Let's trust our friend. Let's get the bonus in income. The king will live a long time, right? Probably die the next week. An Empress Consort of the People. It has become clear to us that Empress Consort Isn't True is a woman with a heart of gold. 
She has always done her best to please her husband and treats her friends with unparalleled kindness. During a recent trip to the Tatooine province, where the rebel plans on Tatooine? Tell me where the rebel base is. In order to make these ideas into reality, however, isn't true needs to find some funds. Okay. So, she gets uh, our support, we get National Unrest minus two. Or five legitimacy. Hmm. Again, we're hoping our king lives a long time. Hmm. Interesting. A 19... Strength army it cannot be supplied throughout most of the planet. That we know of, at least. Okay, all of you get together. Should we... Um We don't have leaders. Ah, oh, that's true. Something we can uh, think of uh, about. Let's see. We don't have much tradition to go with, but... I think we could do it with a general. Eh, gives the Fonseca. Okay. And if we get you on this army, yeah, let's get uh, these guys training. That's the intervention army uh, that sails across the planet, wherever it's needed. So, our diplomat is not doing anything. What could you be doing? We already have four relations, correct? Yes. We could improve relations with uh, our uh, kin. So, we are improving it with Jerusalem and the Papal State. Okay. We could improve with Anatolia. How good are our relations? Pretty good. They desire Lesbos. No! Lesbos is ours! Hands off. Ireland. Uh, pretty good, but not as good as they could be. Gascon, the same. Uh, yeah, I think the first to vassalize would be Ireland, so let's improve relations with them. Okay, let's think about technology. Uh, we want to get to... Yeah. We want to get to uh, Discovery as soon as we can. And for that... Mm-hmm. Yeah. We need level 5 administrative. So let's try to get there as quickly as possible. And have the diplomatic points for it. So in the meantime, what can we improve in Lisbon? Mm. It should be the capital of capitals. Nothing we can build. But, it's bound to be something we can improve. 
Mm, can I develop it? More manpower. Well, we're over our manpower, as is. What are the provinces that give us the most manpower? Uh, where can we see this? Here? Yes. Porto. Oh, our initial capital. Uh, well, our second capital. Okay. We did have recruitment uh, buildings there. Okay, so they give us the most manpower. If we were to increase that, that's plus 500, that's quite a bit. Let's do that. And in Lisbon, uh, that... Let's improve Lisbon to begin with, and then let's save our monarch points. We need power for technology and other stuff. We can only build a castle. We don't want to build a castle right now. Cardinal across the border. Sometimes we have the chance to set something in motion without seeming to have done anything. One such chance has arrived recently. Mm-hmm. There may be a greater price to pay for taking advantage of this to the Wrath of Genoa. Hmm. Diplomatic insult Casus Belli. No, 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 no. Oh, we could get a guy that is cheaper. Okay, let's uh, see what this man can do. Spymaster. No, that's not... Is it here, a Spymaster? No. Is it? Is it this guy? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's much cheaper. Hmm. I think it'd be worth it to have just the extra point. I mean, for the price of a plus two, we would have a plus three. We would need the reputation for integrating Genoa, though. Or more quickly, at least. But... I mean, the extra point is really good. For no extra cost. Though the bonus is not something we will use, I don't think. Hmm... So an extra 12 points a year... That's actually 150 in a decade. That's a... a bit. But the diplomatic reputation might save us more than that, just in integrations. That is, if these guys live that far. Um, yeah, let's keep this guy. I think that a diplomatic reputation is worth more. Could be wrong, but... eh, I'm gonna risk it. So, nothing much going on right now, just stabilizing things. Once we get our navy out, that'll be something. A national epic. Our subjects have taken to telling tales and legends about an old ruler. Most likely Afonso the Hammer. The legend says that in Portugal's darkest hour, he will return to our nation and deliver it from evil. Regardless of the truth in that statement, we could use this in our propaganda. Ah, uh, yeah, we could do with a national epic for 20 years. Not that we need the prestige, really, but... Actually, hmm, yeah, we might need that, in fact. Yeah, we'll have a good story for a little bit of money. How 
how's the papacy going? Yeah, let's get our chances improved on that. From Constantinople? Oh yeah, we have the Hagia Sophia, of course. Bosphorus Santal, Antropo, Hagia Sophia. Local tax and yes. Excellent. The Greek Library. Oh, yeah. Where else did we have stuff? A grand fortress. Ah, that's why we have so much manpower there. That's... I remember. We did have stuff elsewhere, but I don't see the... The major buildings. Well, maybe they weren't major enough to make a difference. Like the Grand Port we had here. Well, maybe that's what uh, it got into, the Great Harbor then, and the Lighthouse. We did have some magnificent gardens. Oh well. Can be mothballed. Okay, click never mothball this one. Our capital needs to be protected at all times. Uh, hmm. Ah, if you declare war, this uh, these forces will all uh, ramp up. You don't need them to be constantly on guard, I don't think, those ones. These are east, yes. House of Mimaras is shaken. There seems to have been a misunderstanding regarding the heritage of the grandmother. She had, was the daughter of a lowly farmer. What? Deny it. I mean, we'll, we'll recover this, right? Ah, very slowly. Really slowly. Um, we'll deny it! No way she was the daughter of a lowly farmer. We know she was the daughter of no farmers there. No bastards. Egypt declared war. Ah. On Ikmen. Ah, oh, they're tiny. Doesn't surprise me. Easy prey. Maybe we should start uh, thinking about uh, our own prey. Hmm. I mean, east. And the east here. Are you allied with anyone we would care? Uh, yes, yes you are. Crap. How about you? You are not. Okay, we could uh, potentially get Greece under our fold. But we should be looking closer to home, I'd say. Pantievre, Flanders. Oh, interesting. Hmm. 
They are a uh, junior partner of Burgundy. Okay. And you are allied with Anjou. Okay, maybe we can get you. Kingdom of Italy and the Empire. For years now, Imperial Party of the Kingdom of Italy has been waning. Successive emperors have failed to impose their will on the Italian states, since they have begun to act with total disregard for imperial laws and customs. Unless the wayward nations of northern Italy are firmly reined in soon, Italy may slip out of imperial control forever. Indeed, they will. Hopefully. Too much power in the Holy Roman Empire. Okay, we need to rein in Genoa as soon as we can. But a nice war to increase our territory wouldn't be a bad thing. Decline of the merchant classes. Without the old privileges and pedigree of other factions, the status and influence of the burghers is really quite as secure as that of the respondent power. Burghers estates lose influence. Okay. Strymon are claiming Gummel scene. Where, who's Strymon? These guys. You're part of... Oh, okay. You've just sealed your fate. We're going to war in Greece. You're claiming our territory. We're claiming all of yours as well. And Alas are doing the same. That does it. Oh, our naval force limit went up by a lot. Okay, so to complete complete this, we're gonna need a lot more. Damn it! Okay, let's build um trade ships. We could use more trade ships, right? Barks. Next for ten. And maybe um, two more carracks then. We need to reach our naval limit. We're also well below our troop limit uh, that also increased. We don't have the money for that, not yet. Everyone's claiming our territory. That's not good. Let's see. How is uh, our army now in comparison? Okay, we haven't lost positions. In fact, we might have gained uh, one or two. And we're certainly stronger than England. And any of our potential rivals and enemies locally. And we have the most manpower by far. In reserve. In terms of navies, well, we haven't built any, and uh, we haven't been able to yet, but next year we will have an extra 10 heavy ships, and then 10 extra light ships to protect our trade. So that should be enough to dominate the Mediterranean. I think. I think it should. Really? Right? 
Should be. And we're going to start using our diplomats once they finish these missions. Making claims on Greece. We're going to claim the hell out of this place. All ours, I'd say. All ours. But all of that is going to be next time. Till then.